Hello everyone. This video is part of our course called 20 must know things about Amazon EC2 and 10 must do labs. You can find the full course by visiting the link in the description below. My name is Saurav Sharma and I'm six times AWS certified cloud engineer and I'm the instructor for this course. I hope you check the course out by visiting the link. All right, let's begin the lab now. In the slides, we talked about how you can monitor things like memory utilization of your EC2 instance using custom scripts uh, and using agents. So in this lab, we will install the CloudWatch unified agent on our EC2 instances that will let us send uh, not only custom metrics, but also logs to CloudWatch. So let's get started. So I'm here in my course repo inside the labs folder. I'm going to click on lab eight. Before we begin, we have to start by creating a role for our EC2 instance that will let us, you know, update the uh, CloudWatch with custom metrics and logs. So we need to add some permissions to our EC2. So we'll start by creating this role and we'll add a permission contained in this managed policy, CloudWatch agent server policy. So I'm gonna copy this name right here. I'm gonna to go to my AWS management console and type in IAM here. Once you're in the IAM management console, click on roles. So create a role and choose the service that will use this role. It's gonna be EC2, next permissions. And in this page, I'm gonna paste in the policy that I copied earlier uh, from this lab file. I'm gonna check on this policy, which will let our EC2 instance, you know, update the CloudWatch uh, service with custom metrics and logs. So next tags, next review, give this role a name of EC2 CloudWatch agent role, right? And role for CloudWatch agent on EC2, something like this. Make sure you have the right policy, we do, and create a role. Launch an EC2 like we have been doing in the previous labs with port 80 and 22 open. And I'm gonna click on launch instance with Amazon Linux AMI, select T2 micro as instance type, next. You know, no changes here, except for I am role. This time we'll select it right here. I am role uh, of EC2 CloudWatch agent role. This is the role we created earlier in this lab. So select this, next add storage, everything as default here. Click next, add tags. In the tag, let's give it a name tag of cloud watch agent, uh, EC2, something like this. Next, configure security group. I'm gonna select a security group with port 80 and 22 open. Review and launch. Launch, select the right key pair that you have. Acknowledge and launch. All right, so at this point we have a uh, EC2 instance, you know, a basic Amazon Linux uh, EC2 instance launching. I'm going to click on the instance ID and give it a minute or so. And then in the meantime, let's go to the lab instructions. And step number three is SSH into the instance. We're going to do that right after this. But step number four is depending on what Linux distribution you're using, uh, or what operating system you're using, you know, you have to download a different link. So if I open this link, link, you can scroll down and find, you know, your platform that you're using. We're using the Amazon Linux AMI. So, you know, we're, we'll use this link. So copy this link. Now let's go to the EC2 management console, click on connect, copy this connection string, go to our terminal. Once you're in the terminal, paste the connection string say yes, log into the EC2 instance. And at that point, like mentioned in the lab steps, 
you know, use the wget command to download the CloudWatch agent. Now I have this command uh, prepared with the link for Amazon Linux. And you know, all of us are using this, so you know, we can use this command. Uh, but you can look at this file as a reference. This You can go to this link as a reference and read more about this. So I'm going to copy this command, go to my terminal and you know type enter. And this file is now downloaded on my computer, on my EC2. This file is downloaded on my EC2 instance. If I list the directory, I get this file. Now the next step is install this package. Uh, which is CloudWatch agent. So this command will install the agent. And finally, I need to configure this agent. Right now, watch this uh, step carefully. We need to configure this agent before we can run this agent. So I'm going to copy this command that I have, which will open the Amazon CloudWatch agent config wizard, you know, which will give you some options that you can choose to configure the agent properly. So I'm going to copy this command from the lab instructions, go to the terminal and paste the command. As soon as I paste, you know, I'm given an option on which OS are you planning to use the agent? The default option is one. I'm going to go with Linux. Are you using EC2 on premises or host? I'm using it on EC2. So I'm going to you know, type in enter, which is the default choice. Do you want to turn on stats D daemon? I'm going to say no. So type two, enter. Do you want to monitor metrics from collect D? I want to say no again. So type two. Do you want to monitor any host metrics? Example, CPU, memory, etc. Yes, so I'm going to type enter for the default choice. Do you want to monitor CPU metrics per core? I'm going to say yes, so enter for default choice. Do you want to add dimensions? Uh, I'm going to say yes to this, so default choice. Uh, for this one, you know, high resolution, you know, I'm fine with 60 seconds, so I'm going to go with the default choice, enter. Uh, which default metrics configs do you want? I want to go for basics, so just type in enter. Uh, are you satisfied with the above config? I'm satisfied, so I'm going to type in enter. Do you have any existing CloudWatch log agent configuration files to import? For now, no, so I'm going to go with the default choice of no. Do you want to monitor any log files? Not right now. So I'll go with choice two, enter. Do you want to store the config in the SSM parameter store? I want to say no, so I want to type two and enter. And the agent will be now configured. So if you missed some step, you know, make sure you go back, rewind and, you know, look at my choices. So make sure you configure the agent and once you configure the agent, we have to start the agent. And step number eight in the lab steps, I'm gonna copy this, and this command will start the agent and also give the path to the configuration file that's generated by the wizard. So copy this command into your terminal of your EC2 instance and I get a message saying, you know, Amazon CloudWatch isn't start running, right? So something is running. So after a while, we should be able to look into some of the EC2 memory metrics, which by default are not collected by CloudWatch. So by using this agent, by, you know, configuring, installing, and starting this agent, we should be able to now collect EC2 uh, memory utilization. So let's wait for a couple of minutes. Type in CloudWatch under services. Now I'm here in my CloudWatch management console. And if I click on metrics, under all metrics, you should see something like CW agent here. Um, after a while, obviously after five or 10 minutes. Uh, if you check in, that's what I did. I came back after five or 10 minutes in. If I click on this, I can go inside of this and see, you know, memory use percent and it is being reported um, every five minutes, 2020, 2025. So, you know, I can track my memory utilized uh, metrics as well as CPU utilization metrics, which CloudWatch tracks by default. So memory 
does not come with a default setting so we do something we install the agent to you know get these memory utilization metric the cloudwatch agent is a lot more powerful than just collecting memory utilization metrics it, it can collect a lot more things so you can try it out you know you can read more on the cloudwatch agent and do more things but for now i hope you got this demonstration of how to uh, collect and visualize memory utilization and any other custom metric with CloudWatch agent. We'll be using this EC2 instance in the next lab as well. So you're free to keep this EC2 instance, but you're also free to clean up the EC2 instance and you can start over with a new EC2 instance in the next lab. Thanks so much for watching this video. We have the full course available on our website and also on Udemy. Links are posted in the description below. There are two more previews on YouTube from our course. Overall, there are two labs and one lecture as preview. Uh, if you like this video, check them out and let us know what you think. Thank you so much and goodbye.